Guys, it's me here, so you wouldn't believe what I um doing for um so today we're gonna take a look at a an item that I just got a long time ago last year actually. Today we're gonna take a look at this Playmobil RC train that is um that is a toy. This is the very first time I ever had a train that had that uh that is big. I do had one, but it was actually very old. Um, but today we're gonna take a look at this Playmobil, like I said, RC train. Uh, this is set number forty sixteen or four zero one six. It's right over here. So, yeah. Now let's get started on the locomotive. So. The train of it is actually called the RCE, or Radio Controlled Express Train, from uh, Playmobil. Um, this is a pretty, pretty cool train, and something I didn't even realize was that back then, trains like these used to run on this other type of track that was more of a model, tr of a model train track. Which I thought wasn't really that good until I think they thought it was kind of dangerous, so they decided to get these plastic ones that don't use electricity so this means that this is an RC train so let's get started on the set I actually got it used so let's get so this is what it came with it actually came with two figurines unfortunately I did not get exact the exact things that it was supposed to come with like for an example, the hat of this conductor is actually a police hat, even though the set it was supposed to come with this other hat that was like a, it would say PM for Playmobil. It's right. You'll see. It's you see that red thing there. I don't know, but if you see something red on this hat, it's supposed to come with it. But it comes with this yellow thing instead, which is like a police badge. So that's how I knew it was a police and I was like upset about it. But it was okay though. I mean, it still looks good at least. Um, And for the tourist, she's actually missing a bouquet, even though it did come with a little flower. But I thought that was very pointless. So I'm very, very sorry, but I won't be able to show the bouquet that she came with. However, you can't pause this and just look at the bouquet that she's getting or she has so as the conductor with his hat so for now i'm just gonna have to do it like this so let's get started of course the main attraction of this locomotive is this train which appears to be based on one of those uh bullet trains that are like from europe um the color scheme looks very interesting i like the color of it it's like a red and blue kind of reminds you of the american color scheme or the france color scheme I, I would say this reminds me more of like the greyhound bus or something um but as you can see this is a very 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 large train i wasn't expecting the train to be this huge it's massive and it's so massive that I actually had to move everything to create this thing. So, yeah. So let's get started on the train. So, the locomotive is based on the train in Germany, I believe. Since the company is from Germany, they decided to do a reference of a train in Germany called the ICE train or the Intercity Express. So that's why if you look carefully... The name of it is actually quite similar to the uh, train, except, um, well, the express part is the same. It's just they changed the RC, obviously, because it's a remote control train. Um, this is for ages 5 and up, both of them. Um, although I think I would give this to somebody, probably a 6-year-old or somebody that is a little bit older. Um, nowadays, this is more of a collector's item. But it was a toy back then. Um, but it's a pretty cool locomotive. I mean, um, it's just kind of sad that the figures, well, he did not come with the right hat and she was missing the bouquet. Um, but everything else is in good condition. It only came with two figures, by the way, so don't be confused. This is actually from other sets, these figures, stuff like that. So, 
this train is interesting because unlike ordinary trains, um, it has this wheel configuration where it joins these two cars together. It's a totally different configuration, and I find it very interesting. Um, that's actually where the train actually drives. The motor is actually over there. Um, so pretty much on the back and the front, there's just these types of, um, I wouldn't say dummy wheels because it sounds offensive, but I'm just going to say like these trailing wheels or wheels that just, they don't, they don't actually spin by themselves. They actually spin when the train is moving. So it's more of like a trailing wheel. Um, it's, like I said, it's a back-to-back -back configuration, and pretty much the train car is exactly the same, and they both come with this thing, which is why I say it's an electrical train, it's a, they call this a pentagraph, it's a thing that raises up so that they do electrical pickups, it doesn't actually do anything, it's just there for display, uh, but it's pretty nice though to have, I think it looks cool, um, so... There is something interesting about the motor and as the train, but we'll get to the train later. But for now, let's just look at the motor. So, as far as I know, the cars are exactly the same, like I said. Uh, it's just this part here that is different. So, there are two pivots on this uh, section here, or on this bogey, and I like how it's kind of decorated to blend it with the pattern or whatever it is, um, one pivot has this antenna while the other one doesn't, so one of them is actually, f like, a. it's kind of like, uh, it has a reason for it. I don't know why it has these strange holes, it doesn't really make sense. Um, it does have this thing, like, this is what the bottom looks like. And the bottom has this thing called a crystal where it tells you what channel you're on. And that's because it comes with the remote, and the remote actually has the brown crystal. So, um, the problem though is that you cannot play with these two trains at the same time. So, what I would do if I were you, I recommend is, I recommend playing the two of them at the same time, but in different rooms. And I would also recommend that even better, just get a train that does use the same remote, but a different crystal. So, yeah. So, the type of antenna that it has is a 27 megahertz so it's not really the best but it still works though and it has a um, well one side has some rubber treads which are starting to dry up and slowly crack but it, they still work though um i could just get a replacement for that and it also one side has this thing called a uh it's like this this is where you put your battery now it actually came with a battery pack but I decided to use this other one which also did come with another train but it was not the exact uh, because this one it was actually the original ones used to have been made out of NICAD double uh, A NICAD batteries which I heard weren't really the best because they have this uh, it, it wasn't really the best quality but it does it still works though but I would think this one is better because when I tried that one out, it just worked at first and then it just instantly died. Um, it's not really the best, even though it still has some voltage. Now, the train is actually on. As you can see, it just moved. See that? So the train is actually on. It's just there's no, there's no indication that it's on, however. It's even better if I turn this on and you'll see why. So, the train can drive. You can actually even drive the train without the cars, but obviously you want to, um, you want to prefer doing that. So, I'm going to take this out because uh, it's kind of, well, it still works like what you just saw. I didn't even charge it, so it's kind of freaky. But I'm going to use this other one that actually works better. This one actually didn't really require any welding because nowadays they said, or they probably were imagining... Uh, I don't want to do the recharging anymore. Let's just do one where you can put regular batteries in. Although you can still put rechargeables, but this time you're able to put rechargeables that are better, like nickel metal hydride. I actually did put nickel metal hydride in this battery, and it actually works better. I'm going to put this on the train later, but yeah. The battery compartment looks the same, 
but it's a little bit different as you can see but they both have the similar shape so i won't be needing this thing anymore um so the figurine it came with a female passenger i think she's a tourist or something and <laughs> she keeps falling over i didn't even push her um she's fall okay so it comes with one figurine up a girl a woman and it also comes with this with this conductor or this engineer or whoever operates the train i would say a train driver or a train conductor somebody who drives a train um he has a beard as you can see it's quite nice it's i mean it's not too bad i think they did a pretty good job and it also came with one luggage that is brown and one luggage that is uh red so two luggages although I don't know why in the set I also got these spare ones here. It's not supposed to come with these other ones that you're seeing here. It's also... I don't know why, but I'm not going to throw them away because I have another train that also goes with this. But we're going to do it at a different video. But for now, let's just do a review on this one here. So, this is the remote. So this is the remote here, folks. It actually has a brown crystal, this thing here that looks like a button. It doesn't really do anything. It just tells you what, like, which one matches. So this remote goes with this one, something like that. Um, for some really odd reason, uh, you're not supposed to actually put a rechargeable here. You are supposed to put a 9-volt battery, a regular one, and then for this one, it's a rechargeable or regular so it doesn't really it doesn't make sense i thought it was going to explode but it does work actually as you can see the red button or the red light is on so yeah i think it's pretty cool um you won't be seeing this train by the way anymore you can find this on other stores because um obviously these trains were like sold a long time ago and this one especially because this was like from 1997 so that's that's a pretty long time, in my opinion. That was, like, before I was born. Um, I was born in the 2000s, so, I, like, it's just... Yeah, I, and I can't believe it still works, though. Although, they kind of refurbished it a little bit, but we'll talk about the refurbished one later. So, let's get started and put this bad boy on the tracks. Actually, before I put this... um, Actually, before I put this dude on the tracks, I actually want to show that... um and. It's the same thing to all passenger cars. Um, so, the pentagraph thing wasn't the only feature of this train. You can also... Oops. You can also, uh, if you wanted, open this up. And you can put anybody who can drive the train, obviously, especially the conductor. You can go in there like this. You can seat. It's just like the typical how they sit. He feels the same as all the other newer Playmobil figurines, but obviously he's like from the 90s, so it's pretty old. And I would I would be happy if this was a little bit more detailed, but I think it's more of like a kind of like the fishbowl bus, but not really. Um, so that's something interesting. The doors can be opened up, by the way, so if you wanted, you can put your passenger in there. Um, you can just take her in there, and she can actually walk through. Um, each car has six seats here, and a seven for the driver, but for the passengers, it's only six. It's a six-seater, so there's three here and three there, so as the other car. It's the same thing, just it looks different because I put the driver in there, but it's the same detail. Um, and you can also, if you want it, actually place her here so she can sit i don't know why it only came with one passenger it didn't really i thought it looked ridiculous because it looks kind of weird it's like if she's with nobody and stuff like that um this is what the inside looks like it's not too bad obviously it's a kid's toy so what do you expect it's not supposed to be too detailed but it does it's, it's not like the one two three toys though um, and this is what the, the other side looks like. It actually has a, um, it has this compartment where you can put your luggages in there. 
Um, you can put one there. It's hard to see, but I'm going to show you it when I reflect it. So you can kind of put one there, although sometimes it doesn't really fit, but that depends if like how big it is. Although I'm not going to put them there because one time I got one of them stuck when I was playing with this train before I did the video. So, yeah. Now let's get started on this bad boy. And, uh, yeah, we'll get started. Oh. Oh, something interesting I want to show you is that if there's not enough room, you can actually open this thing up and put a luggage in there. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't even think I noticed that. I think I did. Maybe I was just pretending because I heard it's going to be April Fool's Day. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. So, yeah, let's get started. Before I take the train out, I'll be very quickly, but I also wanted to say that it also came with this recharging thing. Um, obviously, I didn't really recharge it because there was like kind of no point of it, especially if I was doing another train. However, if you're using this charger, I think you can plug it in there, but actually don't do it. I recommend using a... Uh, a transformer or something to convert because sometimes in countries and continents they have different levels of voltages some of them can be high some of them can be low if some of them are dangerously high that could actually damage the charger so if you're if you're on those countries where they use high voltage I recommend using a transformer like a converter or something where it kind of um, prevents it from uh, causing an issue and stuff like that because el electricity can be very very dangerous especially for kids and I want parents and adults to plug this in for the kids you don't let the kids plug it in because they could electrocute themselves um, so yeah okay so let's get ready to power up this bad boy I just put this one in and there we go three two one wow oops how did it tip over? Oh, yeah, sometimes you want to be careful about that. But let's get started. We're off to a very, very rough start. Sorry about that. Let's just try that again. Um, so let's get started. So as far as the train... It actually works quite good. It actually works even better when I put the other battery... And it actually lasts more longer. As far as the train, it actually looks pretty nice. And I, I like this one more than the other one they had because it's blue and red. And maybe it's because of my favorite combination of color. It's pretty nice and it's it's pretty fast. Um, just like all the other trains, you can drive it as maximum speed. This is what it looks like at cruising speed. And this is what, lo what it looks like when it's at slow speed. I'm gonna turn it on fast speed to just show you how much, um, like how fast this thing can go. Um, the train can die quickly, but not as quickly with the newer type of uh, charge or battery that I put on because uh, the other one just died instantly. It just, like, no matter what you did, it just, it wasn't really that good, so I preferred using this. Um, so this train runs pretty nicely. Sometimes it can crash, but that's how you set it up. You want to make sure you do it properly. And it will crash more because of the way how the motor is designed. It's not even on the front or the back of the train. Um, but it's pretty nice, though. I really do wish that it did come with three cars, like the other train that also did went with this. It was the, um, I believe it was a steam locomotive. Um, but I think since this train is huge, I think having more tracks or more additional upgrades would be more expensive, so they decided not to do that. Um, however, the train did have some upgrade that was sold separately, I believe, in the 90s. It was this set right here. I believe this is set number, um, 4119, uh, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is, because I have the box here. There it is. We'll be doing a review on that one uh, in the next video, but this is what the train car looks like for um, sneak peek. So, yeah. So, 
as far as our train, I think this is probably the most coolest present if they still had it for kids. I mean, kids can still play with this, but since this is an older train, I would prefer giving this to some guy who really loves trains. Uh, because this is just like now nowadays it's more of an a more of a collector than a toy. Um, I really wish that one day they do still make more trains. I mean, they did make one before, but they should actually make like more of them, like how they did in the two in two thousand and five when they had this variant with the red one. Um, as far as the train. It looks pretty nice actually when it's fast because of the way how it's shaped. Um, I really like like this train and as far as the train, I would give this train probably a um, a 9 out of 10. Actually a 10 out of 10, never mind. Um, the only problem about this train was that since this one was in used condition, I didn't exactly get what I got in the box. But... Some of them are like kind of small that you won't notice like the hat if you were looking at it far away You probably won't notice it unless you had good eyesight So yeah now for some reason this track actually came with this thing which is like a railing thing you put on the tracks, but I think what it does it kind of makes your train bump and stuff like that and if you're connecting cars with it I think it might crash so um I mean, I'm not going to throw it out, but I think this piece is kind of not really... I don't really think it does anything. It just makes your track straight. But not only the tracks have these connectors, but they can go fine without it. But the train actually sometimes bumps when it goes through that, that thing. I think it's supposed to look like a railing or something. I don't know, but... As f like to me, I kind of think that piece isn't useful except for bumps and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of think that trains don't always have bumpy tracks. They're always supposed to be smooth because the wheels are not like tires, you know. Um, so yeah, it was very, very good doing a review on this locomotive. Um, hopefully one day they kind of not only remaster if they still have the mold for this thing. But also try to fix up the channel because nowadays with the yellow one, they did fix it because back then I think kids were upset with this thing. So they were like, oh, we're going to make a channel where uh, where that train, it doesn't matter what color, you can still drive it. Because back then you couldn't drive the same one because they decided to only use one crystal. Um... As far as this train, this train has been around for, I think, eight years, or... I wouldn't say eight years, but maybe a few years. Uh, I think it was also in the 2000s, but it was mostly released, I believe, in 1999. So, I would say it was more common in the 90s. However, uh, sometimes these sets aren't always, ex uh, aren't always there, so they can be exclusive to other countries. Um, and this set is very, very old, so you won't find this in the store, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, they make tr they they did had uh, more of these trains in the 2000s, but in like the very early 2000s, I would say this was like more in the 90s. However, they did had one that was in the 2000s that looked just like that, but this time it was in yellow, which you'll, you'll be seeing. Um, after I do a video on this one, the only difference about this one is that it actually has lights and it's a different color scheme, but it does have the same mold. However, it's just, they added some additional things so that they can plug it in, I believe. But yeah, so that's, that's the other variant I have. So there wasn't always a blue variant. We also have another color variant, yellow. So, to be honest, there's actually quite a lot of these trains out there. Um, they still have those ones that run on the other track, but I kind of like getting these ones more. Maybe it's because I'm more familiar with it. Um, and you can see they just look the same, like they both have the same length. The only difference is that the colors are different and this one came with lights. And for those who buy this train, I recommend that you... 
find an insert where it'll, it'll allow you to put new batteries or even better just try to crack open the battery compartment and try to fix it a bit you know that's what you can do so that your train doesn't die that much as the original did and this is what the box looks like for the other one um and i also want to mention that the track is very very huge it's a very very perfect oval and it also came with these extensions so that's very nice if you're trying to reshape the track so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this train review. I know the video is kind of long. I'm trying to make ones where it's not as long. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will eventually do a video on this one and this one. And have a happy holiday Easter. And maybe I'll see you next time. Goodbye.